It'd be better if you didn't bother my aid. Well, you're not going to say with that. Look, this goes beyond any problem that you have with me. <sighs> you're out of your depth. Right, she needs medical help. What? It's a mental health issue. So what's the issue? We're working on it. You? Look, what I can tell you is that you're definitely one of the causes. Oh, well, that's your diagnosis. What a surprise. Hear me out for a minute. Why you guys broke up is none of my business. But I do know that one of the reasons is that whenever Maraid is around you, her stress levels rise. You must have witnessed this. So be honest. Do you make things better or worse? Exactly. Just try not to be a part of the problem for now, all right? This affects Phoebe as well. Can you at least tell me exactly what she's dealing with? I've told you what you need to know. And you want me to totally stay clear? Look, I just want what's best for my aid. Why did Damien leave? Did you tell him too? Uh, can we forget about Damien for a minute? Look, I'm here about your OCD. Not to hand out your expert advice, no thanks. Well, you do need it. Not from a snake like you. Right, if I was ill, you're the last person I'd turn to. Yeah, yeah, there's no if, right? But you keep reminding me I have OCD. If anyone would recognise a flare-up, it's me. I've just been extra careful for Phoebe, all right? Stop trying to twist that into something that it isn't. Look, will you at least be honest with yourself and let me help you? You took the first opportunity to use me to get one up on Damien. No, I didn't. You're a liar. OK, look, I admit it, but I see Damien as being in the way of your recovery. Not, nothing else. So why didn't you discuss it with me? You're too busy trying to turn it to your advantage. No, you're so wrong. You're as low as you ever were. Just stay away. Right, this is just you running away from treatment. No, just yours. Okay, I, I understand why you're trying to fight me, but I am not the problem here. If you keep pestering me, I'll get John Deegan to help with the barring order. Right, we're done. No, look, will you at least go and see a therapist? Right, it doesn't even have to be someone I recommend. I'll stay out of it. Christmas order done. If you want to sign off on it. No, I'm sure it's perfect. I ordered the snowman toilet roll. I couldn't resist. Right. Please. Yes, I know Dolores is insisting that it doesn't take the two of us to settle Junior down. I wish I could handle her the way you do. It's not that difficult. Mm. She's nice. I'll try living with her, because I practically am. She is in my house every day. Pete and Cass are on this drive to improve the help and hand, so now I've become Dolores' mission. Well, I love having her around. It's the only chance I get to put me feet up, but you do need to set boundaries. Yeah, well, you're going to have to give me some lessons on that. Oh, you're well able. Oh. I even got Wayne to talk to her. If you want to make any situation worse, you just have to get my husband involved. Car crash. Mm -hmm. And now he's invited her to stick her nose in at the garage, so there's no escape for me at all. Oh, oh hi. Olivia's well settled. Yeah. And Junior's been an architect with the building blocks. Great. Thanks, Dolores. Uh, anyway, I better run. I'm meeting Leonard. Your customer for the Audi, the one you said I lost. He called back, and I'm on my way to the garage now to close the sale. Only 100 euro off the ticket price. I should be charging commission. Cheer, <laughs> cheer. Listen. I'm sorry you lost your bag. Along with some important work documents, plus the necklace I'd left in it. A present from Hayley. <laughs> you never mentioned that. <laughs> Are you saying I'm lying? No, no, no way. Do you recall stopping at a jeweller's? It was in having a clasp repaired. Do you care to question me anymore? No, I never said a word. And I didn't lose it. It was lifted on your watch. Any sightings of Curly? I haven't had a single notification from that pub WhatsApp group. Write a strongly worded letter of complaint and send it to someone who cares. I private messaged five members of that group and not one of them replied. That's terrible ignorance. It's you, isn't it? Because only somebody with a tiny little mind and the wit of a donkey would do something so childish. When the value of my stolen property is returned, things may change. It's a jacket scam again. You get a tenner. Final offer. Hand it over. What? It's the extra fare you took on the slide. It'll cost well over 200 euro to replace that necklace. I'll give it to you. Out of your own pocket? That'll make you Carol's Aegis. Generous, but still a fool. No, not in cash. You get the amount of free taxi trips. 
This is going to affect Carol as much as me. Now you're speaking my language. Well, I'm going to have to clear it with her first now. Leo, as far as I'm concerned, you and I already have a deal. Sale finalised. Paperwork done. Payment cleared. See? I'm not entirely useless. Thank you. Pardon? Did you just say that? Come on, I'm not that bad. You're not. And I might have been slightly annoying about it. Maybe just the teeniest, tiniest little bit. <laughs> so are we good? Yeah, of course we are. Oh, I got a real kick. I'm glad. But I was thinking, you know, today should be a once-off. Why? Well, you know, us working in the garage together, me giving you orders. I think it, it could be a disaster, you know. We'd probably end up killing each other. You're very pessimistic. Well, I'm just heading things off, you know, before they go wrong. Oh. Yeah. Junior in his room? He is. He's admiring Tommy's handiwork. <sighs> We've arranged to do some homeschooling. Ah, no, Dolores, don't. He's, he's having fun, so just leave him. Routine is important, Orla. OK, Dolores, this is the one area where I'm not going to compromise. Junior is my child, and I want to rear him as I see fit. Um. <clears throat> I really have appreciated all your help, but not if you're pulling against me. Hmm. Someone's been on an assertiveness course. Just, you know, keeping things clear. Any more laws you'd like to lay down? With you, I can't do anything right. Did you talk to Dad? Yep. Told him to leave me alone. Help. I thought I did. I even hoped Will might be the answer, but he was more concerned making sure Damien stayed away. He thought you needed time to get over the split. You were in on it? I'm for anything that'll make you better. You used it. I won't let him do it. He wouldn't. Phoebe, you were smarter than that. He did. Right, your father is the last person I would ever go to for treatment. If I needed it. You had no right to give Jer anything. Yeah, but look, how much will it cost if she starts bad melting Carol's calves? Yeah, she's got a big enough gob on her, I suppose. You see, this way we get to keep the high moral ground. We go out of our way to make amends if something goes wrong. We treat our customers like royalty. Queen Jer. Well, I hope you're happy being a servant, because that's how she's going to treat you. You're back in the group. Oh. Pity you didn't do it sooner. I had my inspection an hour ago. Oh. Passed. Oh, he was a real stickler. I spotted all the things that he got hung up about. I mean, I tried to help and reach out to my fellow group members, but I was obviously still on ignore. You could have made a phone call. Well, I was so upset about being left out in the cold that I didn't even think of that. I have a few stops to make in the liberties, then home. What now? What do you think? Well, there's such a thing as booking. I have 232 euros of bookings. Do I need to flash your receipt? No. No, you're, you're grand. You can get the door. Hi. Hello. Hi, Orla. Hi. I took Junior out for a meal. You had a great time. That didn't matter. Yeah, I was wrong. I sold a car, I was wrong. Yeah. And I left the medical centre early. Rush back to do his homework with them. I was wrong. I'm beginning to think that my ungrateful daughter-in-law doesn't want me around at all. Of course she does. I'll just say, yes, Orla, all the time. Everything will be fine. See, now you're throwing your rattle out. You do overstep. You used to do it with me. Just give Orla the room to do her own thing. Um, just thought I'd let you know that I'm going to collect Junior in about ten minutes. No rush. Pete's treating him to a pizza. Lovely. Homemade. All fresh vegetables. It's not junk food. Yeah, I never said it was. He implied. Uh, no, she didn't. And actually, didn't you want to say something to Orla? I have been crowding you. But it's unintentional. It's just with weighing away, I was worried you'd be swamped. No, I'm not. I can see that. Anyway, I'll give you some peace this evening. I'm going over to mind Olivia for a few hours. Really? That's really nice of you. Ah, uh, any time. I'll give you a break. You're the best. <laughs>
Right, I'll see you later then. See you later. Yeah, bye. Bye. Oh, Pete's glad it up. I was fibbing when I said he made it. It's a takeaway. You're terrible. <laughs> I'm sorry that I didn't handle it better. Hey, how did uh, things go with my head? Look, it has precisely nothing to do with you. Okay, I'm allowed to care. And I do a lot. Yeah, but you're not entitled to day by day, minute by minute updates, right? And you certainly won't be getting them from me. It's not what he was asking for. It's okay, Peeps. It's all right. It's a stressful situation for everyone. Mum said this is really all about you and Damien. I was hoping she was wrong. She is. Huh. Oh, Phoebe, that's not what's going on at all. I am totally focused on Maraid here. I think she misses him. Even if she can't say it. Maybe she needs him around. He's the only one left she might trust. I'm sorry for snapping at you. It's what you do. I was wrong. I shouldn't have assumed that you were the main issue. You're not. OK. I'm listening. Maraid has OCD. So is that what the cleaning's about? And this stress? And plus a lot of other obsessive behaviour? I know you probably won't believe me, but I honestly did think that you were making things worse. My main concern has always been for Maraid, and it still is. How bad is she? Treatment is all that it will take, but she needs somebody that she fully trusts to get her to accept that. It's too much for Phoebe on her own, and I blew it. Well, you expect me to do it? Yeah, if you're up to it. So I wander in with me size elevens. Marae blows me out and bam, goes at any chance of me ever getting back together. You take that take, do you? Damien, I'm being straight up here. On my life. <sighs> what do I know about treating OCD? Well, trust is the main thing. Look, anything else I can teach you. And you expect me to trust you? Phoebe and Maraid will always be my family. Now, this could tear them apart, and I couldn't bear to see that happen. So, will you do this? I'll try. Jerry let you off early. Early? I'm three hours behind schedule already. If this keeps up, I might have to start looking for a new driver. Yeah, well, don't hold your breath. You signed up for it. Not for this, I didn't. What was she doing in the Liberties? Well, I don't know, but some of them stops were a bit weird. You're dodgy. Well, they were definitely questionable. Yeah, sounds like Jer. I've got to pick her up again in 10 minutes. I hear you're a disaster. What can I do? I mean, I can't say no. Leo, you know, there are other ways of getting someone out of your cab. Well, go on. I'd say Jared loving Elle's sing song, you know? I'd say she would. Oh, yeah. I'd also say she'd like to hear your opinions about things, you know, like climate change and the government, you know, that kind of thing. Don't get me started, what? You play your cards right and she'll be shot at you in no time. Carol, you are a diamond. Is your mum around? She's out at the moment. I was, uh, I was talking to your dad earlier. I saw. Did he tell you about mum? He did, yeah. Good. I'm glad. Phoebe, she should have said something. I, I could have helped. I couldn't do that to her. So, is it that bad, or...? It's not great. I'm really struggling, to be honest. Go 
going on here? Mairead. I said, what's going on here? I can explain. What has she said to you? No, she hasn't said anything, all right? We, we want to help you. I don't need help. Mairead. I'm fine. How many more times do I have to tell people that I'm fine? You're not fine. You're losing control. And if you want to listen to me, maybe you'll listen to Damien. You're stockpiling. You're recording yourself locking doors. You know, I understand the cleaning, but I don't know what else to do anymore. I'm really struggling. I wanted to make sure that you were okay. What about everyone else? Oh, that's not fair. I had to lend you money last week because you spent it all on this. I didn't have anything on me. You're making that sound bad. I'm not trying to make you feel worse, Mairead. What, this is meant to make me feel better? Will you just listen to Phoebe, please? Just get out, both of you. Mum, please. I said get out! You there? Can you hear me now? Wait, let's say half of Germany can hear you. Okay. Is that better? Yes, it's fine. You were saying? Sash and your mom. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit too convenient. I thought you didn't want me mad helping. I didn't. So what's the problem? It, it's it's just funny. She's giving her a dig out, love. They're, they're friends. But it's like Sasha's trying to head me off so she can have your mom all to herself. But you don't want her around. No, I said I didn't want her around all the time. Okay, and, and Sash does. Well, Sash was the one who told me to start saying no, you know, to make a few boundaries. Is, is that not a positive thing? Yeah, it was. Until I realised that Sash is trying to keep your mum for herself. Ah, oh, come on, you don't know that. She's just babysitting for her. For now, anyway. No, you, you're reading into this too much. We'll see. Yeah, well, I'm fine anyway. Thanks for asking. Mairead, please let me in. Look, I just want to talk to you. Did you get up here? Bosco let me in from downstairs. Did you tell him? No, of course not. I didn't mean to upset you. It's not your fault. If I'd have known what was going on, Marais. But you didn't. It's okay. This isn't on you. On me. You don't need this in your life. No. But I need you. I was more trouble than I'm worth to begin with. Right, and now I'm an even bigger mess. But you're not a mess. You haven't right. even scratched the surface. So let me. No, because I know how this will go. Right, you want to help because you're a great person. And eventually it'll get tiring because OCD is exhausting. And you'll be too good to leave me and I'll ruin your life. You don't know that. I do. Those little supports we can get. How long will that last? It'll come back. And we'll deal with it when it does. This isn't fair on you. No, but do I get a say on what's fair on me? But I've put you through enough. Please, I'm trying not to be selfish this time. Are you being selfless? Or are you just scared? Damien. No, Marita. I love you. And I want to help, so just let me. Oh, listen, I've got some new CDs for the trip later. <laughs> You've heard of Fleetwood Mac. Wait till you hear Fleetwood Delling. Well, you've more than made up for the 200 euro at this point. No, 232. Well, that's enough for at least two free trips into town. Oh, no, 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 you've done your bit. We'll call it evens now, shall we? Well, it's your call. Yeah, I'll consider us quits. OK. Enjoying our services. I'm finished with it. I think I've slumped it long enough. <laughs> Stretch limo more your style, is it? Anderson, really. As long as I leave with all my belongings intact. You might think this is funny now, but one more wrong step of me, and you won't have a mouth to laugh with. Is that a threat? I don't threaten people. Good. I hear there's a new taxi firm out in Dutton Drum Condra, so do us a favour, yeah?
sorry. It's okay, Mum. I should have listened to you. You're listening now. It's enough. I promised myself I would never let that happen again. It's not your fault. Um, Damien's gonna stay for dinner. Is that okay with you? More than okay. Uh, look, it was me that spoke to Damien earlier, not Phoebe. I was trying to help. I'm sure. So, what are you gonna do from here? Well, it might be a bit early, but I think it might be time for me to go back to my counselling. I think that's the right decision. Yeah, me too. Yeah, maybe we'll see. Well, we just want you to get better. Well, I'll try. Um, do you want to go and get washed up and I'll see what I can rustle up for dinner downstairs? Right. <clears throat> I will. Look, if you need a hand finding a counsellor. Be back in a minute, yeah. Yeah, Murray doesn't see it yet, but I just wanted to say thank you for telling me. I didn't do it as a favour. No, I, I know. What I do, I do for my family, Damien. And I appreciate it. Yeah. We well, just don't think for a second that I did any of this to help you. But here she is now. Maybe she'll enlighten us. How's that? Well, I'm just trying to figure out a time on Christmas Day we can go and see Olivia. Well, I'm sure you can ask Sash that. Dolores invited us over for Christmas with you, Wayne and Junior. Has she indeed? Yeah. Say so a lot be together. So she invites you, did, did she? Yes. Is there a problem here? He didn't drop any hints, no? Like, you'd be too tired on Christmas Day, but you'd like somebody to cook the dinner for you? Orla. I'm surprised you haven't asked her to mind Olivia so you can hop off to Spain for a week. Orla, that's completely out of order. I thought you'd want to see Olivia. I do. That's not the point. Well, sorry, but I'm trying to see what the point is exactly. Don't you play the innocent card with me, Sash. You know what you're doing. You've known all along. Well, I, I really don't. Yeah, get me out of the picture so you have your own personal babysitter. That's what you think I'm doing. Set up boundaries. Say no to Dolores. What, you think I'm some kind of mug? No. And now you have yourself invited to the family dinners. <laughs> sure, before we know it, he'll have the rug pulled out from under us. I'm not listening to this anymore. Oh, that's I'm leaving. It. Yeah, yeah, off you go. Run away. I know you're a sort. Uh, was there a wallet handed in? It's uh, brown leather with a corner cut at the side. I'll just check. Thanks. So is this your new jurisdiction, is it? Annoying people in restaurants? If required, yes. Yeah, you know, there's some actual crime going on out there. Like, if you ever took the notion to do it at work. I'll take that into account. Thank you. Anytime. No, sign. Right. Well, thanks for checking. Good night, detective. Good luck to you. After the break, Mart trading, suffering under lockdown and the Cork farmers risking an onion harvest. Ear to the Ground is next tonight. Later, Lisa O'Neill is the first artist to share how she's evolved to suit the times. John Kelly meets the singer in the brand new series of The Works Presents at 11.20.